and resource committee. Uh, roll call, Madam Clerk. Commissioner Cross. Here. Commissioner Dierzinski. Excused. Commissioner Ingo. Here. Commissioner Hughes. Here. Commissioner Mahoney. Here. Commissioner Sabo. Here. Commissioner Stolnick. Here. Commissioner Wilkins. Here. Commissioner Nash. Here. Next item is approval of the minutes for March 5th, 2013. So moved. Been moved by Commissioner Cross, seconded by Vice Chair Wilkins. Any discussion, corrections? Isn't the name of this committee supposed to be Human Services? Uh -oh. <laughs> yeah, I've had that question for a while myself. <laughs> We're actually uh, waiting just for the final approval of the uh, new board rules. Okay. Oh, okay. Those are approved, and the name will switch over. Any other questions? All those in favor, you just vote to say aye. Aye. All those opposed? That motion passes. At this time, we're opening it for public comment on an agenda item. Does anyone in the public would have to have a comment on any agenda item? not um, and pardon me I, I do have to request that we make a amendment to this agenda should have started with that but we need to add item HR 1304-25 which is what we just passed out to everyone and this is the resolution that has previously passed the CMH board but somehow had missed the HR agenda so it's been motioned by Commissioner Wilkins, supported by Commissioner Cross, to uh, make an agenda, addendum to the agenda to add uh, item 25. All those, in, any any other questions, concerns? No. All those in favor, use the vote to say aye. 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 All those opposed. Motion passes. Agenda is amended. Items for consideration: authorize the CMH Executive Director to sign Amendment One to the contract with the Michigan Department of Community Health for. Michigan Adult Waiver. So moved. Second. Been moved by Commissioner Cross, seconded by Commissioner Sabo. Any questions on this item? Commissioner Hughes. I just have one question. Um, is there a cost uh, difference in this change? Julia Rupp, Director of Community Mental Health. Um, the Adult Benefit Waiver has not had open enrollment, and it has open enrollment April 1st through April 30th. So they needed to amend our contract so that we could participate, and it actually should result in an increase of revenue to us. Okay. Thank you. Any other questions? I would like to have seen the contract included in this. Usually the departments include the contract so we can at least just kind of take a look at it, and there was no contract attached to this. I believe we can get that copy to her before the full Any other questions, concerns? All those in favor, excuse the vote to say aye. Aye. All those opposed? That motion passes. HR 1304-22, authorized CMH Executive Director to sign the amended contract with Amanda Family and Corp for a Phi High Low Family Incorporated Wolf Lake Home. So moved. Support. Vote by Commissioner Hughes, supported by Commissioner Cross. Any questions on this item? No question or concerns. All those in favor, use the vote of saying aye. 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 All those opposed? Motion passes. Next item is HR 1304-23, authorize the CMH Executive Director to sign the amended contract with Insight LLC. <laughs> 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 so moved. Second. Moved by Commissioner Cross, seconded by Commissioner Mahoney. Any questions? Commissioner Vice Chair Wilkins. Yes, I, I had a question regarding those hours. Are those individuals you're changing from eight hours to 40 hours individually or for the entire group? It, it's the. Um, I think that's the next item, isn't it? No, that's this one. This is this one. No, this is the one. We, oh. had, we originally just set up the contract so we would have it to, 
in case one of our physicians resigned or moved on, well, one of our physicians resigned, so we had to expand our hours. So it's a some doctor in the practice up to 40 hours. Okay. okay. We haven't even selected the doc yet. Okay. And I had a question that um, right now you have uh, somebody in there for eight hours. Um, actually, this is a fairly new contract that you just approved, you know, maybe a couple of months ago. We haven't even begun to use them, but right away, what happens? And so we're just in the in the setup phases. But um, before we could even get this set up, one of our full time psychiatrists resigned. Mm -hmm. So we wanted to ex expand the contract. It just seems that the original contract was for eight hours, and now you want to go to forty hours. We just lost a forty hour a week doctor. So it, it looks like you're trying to add one, and you're trying to add 40 hours instead of 8 hours. First of all, we at any given time always have our recruiting for a psychiatrist. There are 45,000, that's the shortage right now for psychiatry. We, we can't, we don't have enough psychiatric time. And so we had put in eight hours just to try it out. That was supposed to be in addition to the full-time psychiatrist we have. Mm -hmm. But we just, we don't have that full-time psychiatrist. She's gone. So all things, unless we are able to recruit somebody, which is highly unlikely, right now we're down eight hours. But you're trying to add 40 hours. I, I, guess, I, I guess I have a concern that if it's $195 an hour and the old contract was for $1,560 a week, you're up and into $7,800 a week. Well, what you're, what you're not... Go ahead and say the, I'm the, not understanding. What, well, that's okay. It's, <laughs> yeah, but, but you understand that this, this is psychiatric time. $195 an hour for psychiatric time is a bargain. But, you're, but the way you've got this worded is services from an average of eight hours per week to 40 hours per week per each adult and child, say, and child. Right. You, yeah, you're saying that they're gonna have to have psychiatric services for eight hours a day, 40 hours a week? We're saying that we're going to hire a, essentially up to a full-time psychiatrist using telepsychiatry. That's what this contract says. Mm -hmm. And it did say we were gonna hire up to eight hours a week. But we just lost a full-time psychiatrist. We originally, but if you had a full-time psychiatrist, you would, you wouldn't. I just don't understand. It, this just doesn't make any sense to me. Hmm. Somebody help me because I yeah, don't know how to I explain think, it. Yeah, please, commissioner, <laughs> commissioner. What I think it's an adult and child psychiatrist, not each adult and child. It's adult and child psychiatrist. It says per each adult and child adult psychiatrist. psychiatrist. Per doctor. Okay. Per, doctor. per doctor. Per doctor. Okay. So essentially this is saying that okay. we're going to hire up to 40 hours a week of psychiatric time. Okay. Right. Is that helpful? Okay. Yes. Sorry. Yeah, you and were and reading it as an I adult and a child and, and was so, getting yeah. an eight-hour okay. of care. Okay. Yeah. And, and I was concerned that you originally thought we were only going to need eight hours, and now we need 40 hours. I was concerned that all of a sudden we got a huge amount of people needing psychiatric services, and I wanted to know how do we fix that yeah. enormous change? Well, well we, we probably, we're still short psychiatric time. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if I'm back here in a few months asking to amend this contract again. We would prefer to have a live psychiatrist in our building, but recruiting them is very difficult. And we've mostly been using locum tenum psych psychiatric right. time, which is, you know, more like $400 an hour. So this is about half the cost. Okay. <clears throat> Commissioner Scully. Um, just out of curiosity, if, if a, a client comes in and they're in dire need of seeing somebody, how long, did, it takes a long time to get to see anybody? It takes a long time to see a psychiatrist. Is that what you're asking? Yeah, yeah. that's basically what I'm asking. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, I mean, I mean they come in generally if they're in great need and they come in, our, our protocol would be they would see a therapist, they would be assessed, and if they were in such need, we'd probably take them to the ER or, or screen them for hospitalization. If it's a child, we are likely to try to go get a doc to see him right away. But if it's somebody we know, we can get them in to see our doctor. But for a brand new person off the street, it's a long wait. We do not have enough psychiatric time. 
Commissioner Cross. <clears throat> Just a question, and maybe explained it before, but why is it so difficult to get a psychologist to come? Because I mean, we have a shortage. That forty-five thousand is right now the openings that exist for psychiatric time. That's a shortage for adult psychiatrists. It's higher for children's psychiatrists. There's not enough trained. So There's an angle to be a psychiatrist. It's demand and cost, and. If you want to get someone during a shortage, you have to pay much more money than you. So if you want to outbid everybody else that's out there, you can get somebody. If you don't, it's probably not going to happen. So, so we really operate using the very minimum amount of psychiatric time that we have to <coughs> just because of that issue. To, to be a, a psychiatrist is a very long training process. You have to be an MD first, right? Correct then I don't know how long it takes beyond that. The psychiatric residency? I don't know, two or four years, I'm not sure. It's probably a real emotionally draining little person too. I couldn't Especially it. in a situation like this where over and over and over seeing different people. One other question I have on that. Um, what you're asking for here is actually an open-ended contract until the time that we can hire permanent? It's, it's likely that this is gonna be the way in which we do business going forward. I mean, it's just because of that shortage. And since you started this contract, have you had uh, experience with this telepsychiatry? We have not. You have not? No. So you don't even know that this is going to be the solution? Well, fairly confident okay. because I've had experience with them. And they are probably in Michigan the only, I mean, they, they operate across the country. They just use psychiatrists and telepsychiatry. West Michigan Therapy uses them exclusively. So I've seen them in action. They, they I think it's gonna be a good solution for okay. us. Thank you very much. And I have just one. Commissioner's going. When they do that, do they, is that a video conference? It is. Mm -hmm. So they can see each other? Oh yeah, yeah. It's, it's um, especially with children, we use telepsychiatry now. Uh, we have a physician who, the only way we could recruit her is that she wanted to go back home to Texas. She won't spend the winters here. So, <laughs> uh, so we've set her up, and yeah, that the, especially the kids, they do fine. They sit in front of a big, you know, probably bigger than this mm -hmm. screen, just like we do for the courts. And are they in the United? They're not like in no, they're India here. Or someplace. No, they're here in the United States. You have to be licensed in, uh, in Michigan. It looks like. <laughs> And there's only a couple of telepsychiatry firms that are, have licensed docs to operate in Michigan. It's not like we have tons of choices actually for telepsychiatry. But what, what is actually plan B if this doesn't work out? We're just going to keep recruiting for, and looking for psychiatrists. We, we all, psychiatrists and PhD psychologists, we are always looking for them. They're hard to find. There was no contract detention. I'm sorry. Uh, there was no contract attached to this either, so it doesn't tell us whether or when you would have the option to opt out of this when we hire new psychiatrists. Is that in the original contract? To, we don't have to use this contract if we don't want to. Okay, so you can get out of it yeah. Yeah. without a penalty. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, and I think she's just making it known that typically when we do these type of agendas, whatever type of contract it is, it's usually listed with the motion. That way that we have time to look through them all. We can do that, but that'll be a change from the way in which we operate. Generally, when it's an amendment and you've already seen the contract, we just show you the changes. We haven't, but I, I can do that. And like the DCH contract, I mean, that's, you know, like 150 pages long. That And, and it, I have to tell you that with the Department of Community Health, they frequently amend the contract going backwards. It's not like we really have a choice. Um, the only reason I ask that is because it, you you indicated that you'd like to do this until the time that we can find a permanent psychologist, and I just wanted to make sure we weren't locked into a contract right. after we found a yeah. psychiatrist. So. That's that's a good question, but no, we're not. We don't have to use this. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. Any other? Yeah. Any other? Have we ever done requests for proposals or notes? I I'm not sure how that we haven't. We advertise for psychiatrists, you mean for the, for telepsychiatry? Yeah, or any of them. For a psychiatrist? No, I mean we have, we have ads that are published all the time looking for psychiatric time. 
like in national journals and psychiatric journals and APA, we constantly run ads looking for people. We have recruiters call us all the time. We talk to people and generally, you know, they, they listen to us and then they go find a better offer. It's just we're in constant recruitment mode. Truthfully, if I thought that the, an RFP would help bring anybody, but I think it would, they, that's not how psychiatrists operate. They would say, what is this? They don't even generally work with you directly. They almost have, always have people that represent them. Usually a recruiter firm. firm. Just without any other questions? If, if I, I can tell you that uh, an ad I just placed, um, and we have no position. Well, we, I guess we do have a psychiatric position in our budget, but um, we just placed an ad looking for a psychiatrist who's also credentialed as an addictionologist. I mean, the odds of getting one of those psychiatrists would be, you know, one in a million, but if one shows up, we'll figure out how to recruit them. Any other comments? All those in favor of the motion, use the vote of saying aye. 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 All those opposed? That motion passes. Now we're at HR 130424, authorized reclassification of administrative analysis position to account one position. So moved. Second. Moved by Commissioner Cross, seconded by Chairman Mahoney. Any questions? Yeah, I had a question on this. Commissioner Hughes. Uh, the administrative analysis position that you're going to eliminate, is the person that's in that position now a qualified accountant and will be able to step into the other position? This is a vacant position that we're reclassifying. Okay. So you're going to be hiring somebody new for that? Yeah, we just didn't feel like we needed that level of experience, so we classified it down a step. Okay, so it, it was it is currently vacant. Correct. Was the position that you're eliminating vacant too and creating? Right, no one's losing their job. No, but okay, thank you. Any other questions, comments? All those in favor, use the vote of saying aye. 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 All those opposed? That motion passes. Uh, next is the HR 130425, and that is the uh, approval for the director to have the resolution for the entity. So moved. Support. And I know our, our staff will put together that motion final for the full board. But any questions on that? Basically, it's a formality for this agreement. <coughs> All right. All those in favor, use the vote to say an aye. Aye. All those opposed? All right, any old business come before this committee? Any old business? Any new business come before this committee? Any new business? Now it's time for public comment. Anyone have any public comment? Saying no, I think it's more. Pardon me? They were out at normal time. No, we're <laughs> 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 <laughs>